Hi, I'm Peter Jesper and I've been selling, servicing and repairing fountain pens and fine writing instruments for the last 38 years from our store here in Harrogate, North Yorkshire, England. I want to share with you some personal views and opinions really on fine writing instruments and I want to record for your uh, enjoyment and interest a few clips about fountain pens, why we should use a fountain pen, how you should go about buying one, how to look after it and how to enjoy it really. So we hope you enjoy the next few clips that we're going to record for you. Hi, so why use a fountain pen? I just want to spend a few moments giving you my personal thoughts and views and they're aimed at anyone considering taking the plunge either for the first time or to revisit it after a period of abstinence perhaps. So whether I'm preaching to the converted or to a student contemplating their first pen or an executive considering an aspirational pen for purchase then I hope you find my few words here of interest. So writing is a part of our history and heritage and over many thousands of years we have created pictorial and written records of our society's history and development by making images and texts using carvings, paints and inks. It's a very traditional thing to do. Using ink these days is definitely also different to the norm. It brings your handwriting and your stationery to life and anyone seeing you write, writing or sees your written word can definitely tell you've not used a cheap throwaway ballpoint. It is something very different to do. Also, it's very enjoyable. Arguably, it improves your handwriting, and many of our customers say that the ballpoint has in fact ruined their handwriting, and when they try a proper pen again, they marvel at what they've missed, and they take more time and care, and end up with a more legible, and presentable, and enjoyable end result. Owning a fountain pen is an engaging process. Filling and caring for your pen becomes part of your daily routine and ritual, and using one is more productive than trying to create with a tatty old ballpoint. Also, putting ink down onto paper can be therapeutic and creative, so it's stimulating too. All good reasons so far, I hope you agree. So why else? Well, if you use ink, you will be noticed, both when people see you using one, and also when they receive your handwritten letter or that special greetings card for that lovely family or friends occasion. So it is a special thing to do, and people will see and appreciate your efforts. So, having googled many fountain pen subjects, I do feel that advice on ownership and for, for, from many online has been a little overcomplicated, and it's really just a simple, durable, creative writing tool that's more robust than you think. All you have to do is make sure you protect that little fella the nib. But the rest of it, in most cases, durable, attractive, hard wearing. So, Everyone, I think, should enjoy the experience of real ink, and I wear my ink on my fingers occasionally. It's almost like a badge of honour. My hope is many of you as possible may be encouraged to experience a good pen soon. Just pop into your local stockist and try some. They will be pleased to see you and to show off their fountain pen selection. So in future posts, I'll share my thoughts on how to buy your pen, also using your pen to its best effect, and also how to look after it um, on an ongoing basis to make it last for years too. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed my words and if you've any feedback please let me know. All the best.